What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Guys, I don't really watch what you would consider reality shows. It is beneath me in most working black men. It's a waste of time. Um, nobody has time to see a lot of these untalented people act crazy, fight and throw things in these shows. But now there is a lady by the name of Drew Sedora. I don't know who she is, except that she looks really good. And she's married to uh, a young man by the name of Ralph Pittman. Now, before um, Drew Sedora met Mr. Pittman or was in a relationship with him, she had a child an 11 year old and um what happened they were married in 2014 they have two children and she has a son from a previous relationship so this guy came in and she didn't have any kids he started to deal with her now he filed for divorce then she goes and files for divorce and it's a really messy situation it doesn't make a whole lot of sense but i mean when you're dealing with entertainers who don't i mean who just do everything emotionally based it makes sense there but what doesn't make sense is for me to ask this guy you know she already had a situation going on with a child you've been helping raise this child and now you won't be in this child's life anymore because you're helping raise this child but did you have any potential dating options outside of a woman that was already in a previous relationship with a child? Is there a specific reason for that? Because now that opportunity is going to be destroyed. Reason B is, is that that's the case. All right. Now he wants her to be kicked out the mansion and all of this. I don't think she's going okay um he's tired of her it's irretrievably broken and there's no hope for reconciliation but you didn't see those red flags at first okay now you have homes together you want to be exclusive in the use of the home position the home together he took out personal loan from a third party he funded business ventures all of that and now you have debt with her now you have all these problems now you have Porsches a Cadillac Escalades you know this this is this is all it is now she's saying that she's a star and her earning capacity far exceeds that Maybe that's why she married him. Exactly. It makes sense. Yeah, I don't watch this. You black men out there who have not made it in life. Why are you dealing with these ladies? Because they can take care of you momentarily. Is that what it is? Because you never know where you're going to be in life. And then once you get on and you get tired of being disrespected, you get tired of being abused. And I'm not saying this happens in every relationship. But it appears to be that's what it is now. You're tired of that. You're tired of her. But the red flags are already there. And the number one red flag is you have a child. Okay. Where is the guy that gave you the child? And why is he not with you? And if you if she asks that, she's never going to say, I'm at fault for all together. Always going to be the guy's fault. That is a great indicator that you, my friend, have wasted your time. And not only that, you're taking care of somebody else's kid that isn't yours. Taking care of somebody else's kid that is not yours. Now you're financially tied up. This is a messy divorce. And you know what? A lot of guys are getting married before they're finding their purpose. Because listen, man, if she was 
had the opportunity to make somebody else on her level or above it, she wouldn't talk to you. But she didn't. You came in to play step daddy. Now you are mad. These ladies on the Real House of At Housewives of Atlanta, they're not going to be the kind of lady some of you guys want. You guys want a woman to be a little bit more submissive. They don't come from that era, bro. Then now you start to get to the point where you know, like, okay, I don't know what I really want in women. Now I'm understanding what I don't want. And you're stuck there. Please, guys, do not be an idiot like him. Okay. Most of the ladies that you guys are encountering, especially if they're reality show stars, probably not the ones you want to be married to. You're probably not going to take it that serious. Just for warning. Then you go in and you do the work of a stepdad because you're a son husband. She wants you to do things she won't do or can't do. And the moment you want to be a man, there's a problem. But you should have been a man in the first place. And being a man is a lot of times looking at situations and saying, you know what? I'm good there. I'm, 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 I'm cool. Don't want to put up with that. I already don't like her attitude. I already don't want to be nowhere near her. I want to be happy as hell. I'm good. You would think that people would say it, but they won't. Guys are getting into relationships all the time with ladies who they feel are, are treating them wrong, who are dusting them up, who have sandaled them up, and you're getting no respect from this lady. And the lady is bringing you what we will call in the black world some level of baggage. And you're putting up with that because you didn't establish yourself before meeting her. Black men have to do a better job of establishing themselves before you meet these women. Have options. Don't go for the first thing that you see. Don't let them convince you, you know what? I can take care of my own kids. I don't need you to be with my... No, 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 no. No. They need help. And it's not worth it. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Survey Junk. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out.